Hello, Penny Jane Love here. Thank you so much for hitting that play button and watching my video. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel so that you can help me grow. Okay, let's get to our wig review of Henry Margu's Brooklyn in the color 29H. Okay guys, I just wanted to let you know real quick that this wig was provided to me by Lori Powell, the owner of Lori's Lemonade Stand, a wig boutique. Lori um, has a wig boutique out in California and I am on her wig review team. And so when she, she sends me four wigs a month and then I do four, I do those four reviews and I get to keep one of the wigs. And I just wanna be upfront and let you guys know that. And then I do a second review on the wig for my own channel. And the reason why I do the second review is because the reviews I do for Lori are a little bit more um, business-like and informational, um, even though they're honest. Um, and then I like to do a second review that is a little bit more personal for my channel. Um, I will tell you that Lori has always told me to be honest and give my, um, my true opinion about whatever wig that I'm reviewing. She's never guided me or told me what I should or should not say. She's just sends me the wigs and says, send me four reviews. And that's been the way that she and I have been working for the last six months. I love um, partnering with her and working with her. She's been great to work with. But I always wanna let you know where the wig is coming from. Um, this is not a sponsored review, review that I'm doing. I just happen to be doing a second review of that's a little bit more personal for my own channel. So I wanted to let you know that. Okay guys, like I mentioned, this is my very first Henry Margu wig that I have held in my hands and tried. And I was so excited when Lori told me that she was gonna send it to me. I um, have been pleasantly surprised. The biggest thing that has stood out to me about Brooklyn is how completely natural the fibers feel. Like I had to do a second take when I first put her on and pull the tag out again and look to see, is this really synthetic fibers? And of course it doesn't say in here, but when I looked it up, yep, it's really synthetic fibers. But this is the this wig is the closest wig that I have found to natural human hair. Now I've I've tried probably about thirty or forty wigs, just so that you understand the breadth of the uh, number of wigs that I've tried. I've mostly tried lots of Raquel Welch, one or two John Renault, Renee of Paris, Aesthetica, Norico. Those are all the main ones that I've tried. So. So I just wanted to give you that disclaimer um, to let you know that when I say this wig is the one that feels the most like human hair to me, you know, I just want you to understand that why I have tried on, you know, 40, 50 wigs is a lot of wigs. There's still thousands that I haven't tried and that I haven't been able to compare this one to. So I just want to make sure you have it in perspective there when I tell you that this wig is the wig that has come closest to feeling like a real human hair wig to me. So let's talk about her. She is a classic mid-length sleek straight bob with some layers and razored edges and she frames your face beautifully, I think. I love the way that her ends kind of come in and hug, <laughs> hug you under your chin. Now I have an eight inch length face from where my hairline starts to my chin and my neck is four inches. So that's just to give you some reference there. You know, she hits me right, she comes just above my uh, clavicle, so. Uh, but I have kind of a longer head. So, you know, if you have, a lot of people have like say six inch long faces. So you're, you know, she's probably going to hit you on your clavicle area there. Again, the fibers are very fine and silky and lightweight. She has little to no permatease and she's very low or light on the density scale and she doesn't have a lot of volume. Now, 
some people laugh at me because I did a review not too long ago on Raquel Welch's Big Time, and I said that I thought it was big hair, and they're like, that's not big hair at all. And maybe it's because I don't have any hair, or when I did have, have hair, this is what it looked like, except I couldn't grow it this long because it would look too thin and fine and stringy. Uh, I've never had a lot of hair, so... I think maybe what it seems like big hair to me may not seem like big hair to other people, um, which kind of makes me laugh. Um, but Brooklyn definitely does not have a lot of volume. I mean, it's like real human hair, guys. I'm telling you, it's just like, it's amazing to me how human-like the fibers are. Brooklyn has a temple to temple lace front, and I'm going to get up close so you guys can see that. It looks pretty natural. Let me turn this down a little bit, give you a good view of it. Doesn't it look like those, those fine knots are growing right out of my scalp? I do wish the lace front blended into my skin a little bit better. I think the lace front is a little bit thicker than some other brands like say, um, you know, the lace front on On Point by Raquel Welch thinner and it's more pliable and softer and not itchy. I do think that this lace front feels a little bit itchy to me, if I'm honest. And I wish it blended in with my skin a little bit more, but I do think it looks pretty natural. Um, it's not awful looking at all. The lace front comes to about here and here on me. She has a she has a left-sided 100% hand-tied monofilament part that you do have some room to move her. Now, I had I did try to move her a little bit, um but found that really what worked, worked best for me was kind of leaving her where she naturally wanted to fall. And I want to show you that part. I love the part on her. I think it looks great matches uh blends right into my scalp and looks very natural now on the cap brooklyn's cap is actually a petite average cap so I, this might be the first petite average cap that i have ever tried and i gotta be honest i love how it fits my head you guys know i like my wigs to be snug i have a size 22 inch circumference head but it tends to be a a petite average and I think that's because of the shape of it especially in the back I t I'm kind of flat I don't have a rounded head uh, and I'll several uh, brands run their average size caps run larger on me but this petite petite average honestly fits my head perfectly um, I think if you are on the larger side definitely if you're like a 23 inch or larger you might have a little bit of trouble with the comfort or even getting this cap to fit you. She weighs about 3.25 ounces, so she's rel she's, she's very light. Again, you know, the biggest thing that stands out to me are the fibers. Um, and they're small in size. They're very feathery and just feel like human hairs to me. They are synthetic fiber. They're not heat friendly or heat defiant, so they're gonna have a longer lifespan. And they are the most natural to human hair that I have seen in synthetic fibers. So it's the one thing that impresses me most about Brooklyn. Okay, let me tell you about Brooklyn's links. Her bangs are eight inches. This is the left side and her sides are 10 inches. Her back is nine and a half inches. This is the right side, which again is 10 inches. And her nape is about four and a half inches. Again, I really, mid-length bobs are my favorite, so I love the length. I think it's a great length and I just think that the hairs are so much like human hairs and move so naturally. Okay guys, let's take a look at Brooklyn's cap real quick. 
Again, it has this temple to temple lace front. I like how long the lace front is. It comes down pretty low on the side of my head. I will say that I did find the lace to be a little bit stiff and scratchy. It's not the most comfortable lace front. Um, and I do I did wish it blended in a little bit better with my skin, but you know, it still looks, I've seen worse lace fronts, so it's not the worst I've seen. It has this left-sided monofilament part with 100% hand-tied knots, and the knots are fine and look great. It is a standard machine cap with standard wefting. It has the velvet covered ear tabs that have the metal in them so that you can cinch them in close to your head. It also has the Velcro uh, adjusters so that you can adjust it if you need to. Remember, the uh, cap is a petite, average petite size, which is perfect for me, but if you have uh, average size that's on the bigger side of average, then it might be a bit snug for you. It has an extended nape, and the nape part is really soft. It's not stiff like a lot of caps, napes are, so um, I do like the nape a lot on it. And all in all, you know, she's a comfortable wig. Um, I would, I do find the cap to be a little bit un uncomfortable on my, sc on my scalp, uh, and I would have to wear a cap or something to kind of uh, keep her from itching and bothering me if I was wearing her for a long time. But I don't, all in all, you know, the cap was okay. <laughs> okay, let's talk about styling options for Brooklyn. So you guys know that I cannot style wigs. I try for you guys so that I can show you different options, but I am just not very good at it. Um, first, let me say you can wear glasses. My glasses were able to go on easily with the wig on. Now, I have to be honest and tell you that if I wore Brooklyn on a regular basis, I would definitely have to clip these bangs back, especially here on the right side. Um, that's probably one of the things I dislike most about this piece is I've been having a really hard time keeping just a small amount of the bangs out of my face and, you know, it would just get really annoying after having to push them back all day long. And I feel like I have tried to kind of press them down with the warmth of my hands um, and I haven't been able to get them so that they won't still come into my face. Um, now, I would, if this was a wig that I was going to keep, I would steam them back and that would probably resolve the problem there. And there are other styling options. Um, of course, you know, I can't show them to you, even though I do try um, to do a couple of things so that I can show you guys, but I'm never able to. Um, you can pull the sides back and kind of put them back in the back like that. You could also do a low ponytail, something like that, or a partial updo, which would be just taking a lot of her, but not all of her, and pulling her back. So there are styling options for her. So if you like styling wigs, you definitely have some options to style Brooklyn. And again, I would definitely, which I, you guys know, I like to, I like the way my, um, my wigs look when they're pinned back, the bangs are pinned back. They look to me more feminine and soft and I like that. So, and I think this rose gold pin goes great with this color. So, so yeah, there are ways to style Brooklyn. Just, I can't really show you. So one day I'm going to be able to, I hope. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about this color. So I did go outside today when it was sunny um, and did a quick little video so that you could see it in the sun and I'm gonna show that real quick. Let's talk about this color. You guys know that I love red hair and I love this color. It is 
The color code is 29H and it is a warm red. The base is a medium auburn and it has fire red auburn and copper highlights that are evenly blended. And it's definitely a more intense red than say uh, on points or Raquel Welch's fiery copper. So show you those side by side. You can see that this is a much more subtle and soft red. And this 29H by Henry Margot is more of an intense red, but it's not an orange red. You know how some red wigs you get and they kind of are more on the orange side of the color spectrum? I feel like this color, 29H, is more on the red side, and I like that. I don't like orange colors at all. Um, so if I get a red wig that tends to be more of an orange tint, I know I'm not gonna like it. But I really love this color. Um, this intense red, I think it's beautiful. Now I will say that when I looked at the uh, color and the fibers in my bathroom, which is really well lit, I felt like I did see a little bit of a shine. It's not an extreme shine and some dry shampoo would take it right out, I think, without any problem. And you know, a lot of times after you wear them once or twice, that, that shininess tends to go away anyway. But again, I think it's a beautiful red. It's not an orangey red. It's more of an intense red, um, a darker red, and it's a warm red. It's not on the cool side. It's more on the warm side. I just love it. It's a beautiful color. It really is. Okay, we're almost done. I just wanted to go over real quick what I think are the pros and the cons on Brooklyn. So. As far as the pros, um, you guys probably guessed it, it's these fibers and how natural and human-like they are. They're so fine and silky and move so naturally and are lightweight. And this wig, this piece comes the closest to looking like real human hair of any that I've tried. And remember, I've only tried about 35 or 40 wigs. So keep it in perspective there, but this one definitely comes the closest to human hair uh, that I have reviewed or tried. Um, you see how these bangs are falling in my face? Okay, that's a con. <laughs> I just cannot keep that set of bangs out of my face. They're going to fall there again, um, probably before the end of doing this section. So if I wore this wig on a regular basis, I would have to steam those back or clip them. Now, I will say I can order two of those very same wigs, same color, everything, and one might have the bangs that fall on my face and one might not. And it just depends on the piece that you get. You know, they're not always going to be exactly identical. There's going to be a little bit of variation in that. But this piece that I have in particular, I just have found that I haven't been able to keep those bangs out of my face very well. Um, another of the pro is I love the light permatisse and the low density and uh, the fact that I think it has a good volume. And again, it's just the closest that I've seen come to being human-like hair. And, you know, that's part of the reason why you're not seeing a lot of volume and you're not seeing a lot of density because these fibers are so fine and so human-like. Um, I don't think anyone would ever guess that I had a wig on, really, unless they just knew a lot about wigs. All right, and so let me, so a couple of the cons. I don't love I ha I love how the cap fits. It fits nice and snug and it's not moving around at all. With me having um, a bald head, I am finding that the cap is a little bit scratchy and itchy and not most comfortable. So um, I would probably have to wear a cap with this one 
to in order to kind of keep it from scratching my scalp or um you know most of the time i let my hair where it grows i'll let it grow till it gets about that high because that kind of acts like a cap does and protects my scalp um, when i have caps that aren't aren't as comfortable and have a tendency to be uh, scratchy and itchy the hair in my face is another you know dislike um, about this wig um, and another favorite thing is the color i love this color 29h it's a beautiful uh, warm red very uh, brilliant red is what i would call it a very beautiful brilliant red not an orange color but a brilliant kind of red warm color um fibers seem like they might be a tad bit shiny but they're not super shiny and i think just one little dose of some dry shampoo would take care of any shine that's there right away so all in all i think it's a it's a great piece um i'm so happy i finally got to try it Henry Margu wig, and I'm certainly impressed by how human-like and thin and wispy and feathery and naturally moving the fibers are. It's probably my favorite thing about this wig, that and the cap size. I wish, I wish all caps fit me as snugly and as perfectly as this one seems to, so... All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching this wig review. Again, if you liked it, please hit that like button and consider, just consider subscribing to my channel so that you can help me grow it. Have a great afternoon. Talk to you next time.